Ted, you know, COVID was four years ago at this point. That's okay. That's fucked up. What a fucked that up way. Be, that shouldn't be. That how shouldn't it be. Is. No, no, it also shouldn't be the first thing you say in the first podcast of 2024. That's like you're beckoning something, a new disease back into the year. Well, no, I'm just saying how long it's been. I feel like we teleported through time. Like, I feel like the 2020 to what? 2020. Pretty much it was like 2020 happened and then it was like, okay, we're in 2022 now. Yeah. And now we're in 2024. Yeah. And uh, I'm done keeping score and a little bit of rhyming and a little bit of rhyming a little bit of dining a little bit of griming a little bit of man on man 69ing sick ooh. ted you know what a lot of people want to do when they get to the new year when that new year rolls around thank you for the snaps i appreciate you're welcome because it's poetry it's like a college slam poetry <laughs> session that's exactly what i was mic. implying with that yeah no we're yeah, doing yeah. an open mic now keep going man a lot of people say a lot of people say when the year rolls around the new year rolls around. They say, I want to stop drinking. Dry January. Yeah. Are you doing dry That's January? Say. Yes. Yes, I am. And you, you know what? No it way. Is Are going, you actually? It is going poorly. Audio listeners love you to death. First of the year. Shall I take a good old swig of a, of a bottle that's possibly Whoa. water if he's not? Li- <laughs> Nuh-uh. Oh, that's is the that, nectar is that of the gods, what is brother. That? That's some Benedictine. Woo-hoo-hoo. I thought it was Hennessy at first. That's not Henny. This is better than Henny. What is that? Is that a that that's a that's a, a whiskey it or is something? Literally the nectar of the gods. Oh my god! It's brewed by a bunch of monks in the Alps. Oh, and that's all you need to know. <laughs> you ever seen the videos of the of the monks who are, where they're getting kicked in the balls? What? Yeah. No. You ever seen the the monk? Uh, ball kicking. Why would God? Why would God make them do that? Well, where do you think the nectar comes from, Schlein? Are you telling me? Welcome to Chuckle Sandwich. Welcome, everyone, to the first episode of the new year of Chuckle Sandwich. We're back. We weren't stopping. We took a little bit of a break, but we're back. And Schlatt's running. We're sprinting running. into the new year. <laughs> we're sprinting into the new year. We're getting we're getting new splits. How? How? Answer me this, Ted. How many homeless people are you going to lure to their deaths in 2024? Depends on what your definition of luring is, but I mean, if we're going the, the classic Schlatt, func- Schlatt function where... You lure them to death with a can of baked beans. Probably plenty. Probably plenty. Do you remember when you said that? <laughs> yes. And you know who said that first? Who? Mr. Sark. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. No, you no, really? no, well, ma- no been yeah, it was Sark an episode reference. of Inbox. Dude, I heard it 20 times in my <laughs> ear every time I'd, I'd be working in the freezer. I could just repeat half of that show by heart. And you know what? Let there me are, tell you something. Ted. You didn't even After, admit that that one was like that. I, I've spent the last like two years since that video has been out thinking that that was just off the cuff schlack. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's hilarious. No. Damn. What would you say the percentage of things that you have said that are that are Sark things <laughs> have come out you of your what? mouth? What really put me at ease was when he said it's just like, you know, you're referencing a, a favorite movie or something, you know, because that's that's kind of what it is to me. Like, I'm not a movie guy. It it is a, a a good a good point, and also we you essentially got his blessing for the rest of time to just just <laughs> you, you you're probably going into the backlogs like you yeah. got to pay someone to get some transcripts yeah. and just start piecing through and highlighting new things you can grab. Well, dude, if uh, <laughs> depending on how far you go back, you probably can't say most of it these days. Yeah, yeah, I will say. I mean, I think that you know, maybe there were even stuff that he said on the pod that we didn't even include. So, yeah, yeah you know, the, <laughs> there's, you want to you know, know he's, something? It's a, been, he's of a different time. He's of a he different is, time, but we is, love him. We love him, and it's also love him. some of the things he they were funny. I mean, they were funny. I mean, I mean, I mean, come Un- on, unequivocally, unequivocally funny. We, I'm actually know. drunk already. Yeah, I'm that's what I hope. Already. That's what I hope. I it's want crazy because this is forty percent. It's like the same level of alcohol as whiskey. Yeah. I feel like you're the kind of person that would succumb so quickly to a CIA interrogation because why? The, because the the you know the truth serum that they give you in, in the, the, have you ever heard of this the truth, truth serum? serum? 
No. Drink, you know, look up some truth serum. See if it's real. But I'm pretty sure it's like it's a thing and you do it on people and then it's like it's the, the effects are similar to getting drunk. What do we got here? Really? It's a colloquial name for any range of pro psychoactive drugs used in an effort to obtain information from subjects who are unable to and willing to private otherwise. Yeah, okay. So so maybe not to totally reliable, it seems like it might be implying. But uh, I feel like they, they, they don't even need to like put a syringe in you. Like they hand you a bottle of what is whatever this is the, 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 the nectar of the gods some of that some of that uh some of that monk serum as monk as we juice. like to call it <laughs> monk juice a little bit a little bit of cheeky little monk juice and you're gonna be you're gonna be giving all the country secrets away Ooh, a little there bit of that is. yeah boom a little bit of bite what would you say your, is drinking your greatest vice would you say oh surely yeah. surely i don't think a day passed where i didn't drink not even last year here's yeah. a question i have for you actually mm. speaking mm. of going into the new year and stuff because i know one mm. of your other vices and it's and it's wagyu um have you 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 talk very frequently about this olive wagyu oh, that you have in your fridge the olive i wagyu. He, the question A5. that tucker and i have actually oh, been wondering <laughs> but, well hold on a question that tucker and i actually have questioned between each other is one is that the same Wagyu that you reference every time? Is it the same cut? And have you ever actually put it on the grill and made it? Because I feel like you keep referencing it and it sounds like you're talking about the same oh. piece of Wagyu every time. Well, let me tell you something, Ted. There is a olive A5 ribeye. Oh, we that know. I keep, <laughs> we know. That I keep. Well, you asked for the cut. I'm telling you, that's what the cut is. It stays in my freezer. And it, that's my, like, it's like my carrot on a stick. You know, Minecraft, you sit on a pig with the saddle and yeah. you dangle the little carrot in front of it. Oh, just I'm familiar. Just goes forward. Yeah. Just, like, walks forward. Like, that's my, that's my carrot. Who's the, who's the pig, though? Who are you leading? What, what's the, what, what, you're leading yourself. So, the notion of having a, a, a olive, an eight ounce olive wagyu ribeye in your, in your fridge is, is <laughs> <Eight>. the, <laughs> Didn't you say eight ounce? Way more than eight. No. A5, I said. Oh. I said A5. That's the marbling rating. Oh, well, how many Japan. ounces is it? How many ounces? I don't know. It's oh. a big fucking ribeye. I don't know. Could be, okay. Could be 24 or something like that. I well, didn't weigh it. I didn't weigh it. But the Wagyu is the foundation of all of your motivation right now. <laughs> like, that's what yeah, gets you through life. Because <laughs> I'll say, I'll say like, oh, you know, like if I do really good work today i'll maybe i'll get the cast iron out and i'll uh i'll heat it up and or at the very least get to heat. look at it or to... or just look at it sometimes <laughs> i'll just open up the freezer and go <sighs> i like know. to imagine that it's just that in there you open up the freezer and it's just sitting <laughs> in the middle there and it's just laying there and it's like there's an angelic glow like when they open up a treasure chest in a pirate movie it's or something like, like that. Dude, it's like the new fish the new jelly fishing rod in SpongeBob where yeah. he just looks over it like <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, it's great. dude, exactly. That, that is that's how I motivate myself, you know? Well, that's I mean, good. If I didn't have that, I'd probably completely succumb to the drinking problem yeah just end it all right but i was I, I didn't even think about i didn't even think about a dry january or anything like that <laughs> you didn't it didn't even cross your mind like it wasn't even well, the fact you you scoff you're scoffing at the fact that other people are even trying to do it i'll tell you one thing i recently promoted on my story i don't know if you saw this but i miller, saw it miller I did see it Miller Lite did uh, a sort of a gimmick dry January product. Yep. Um, and I guess they're, they're doing a second drop, but by the time this episode comes out, it'll probably <laughs> be sold out again. But it's these Miller Lite beer mints. And I remember when they hit me up about it, I was like, <laughs> that is the funniest thing that I've ever heard. And beer I am flavored in. flavored mints. Yeah. And it, it's like, they're like, not, they're not bad. Like they're, they are, they're actually good when you have them. They're like kind of, I, yeah. It's weird, like how to explain the flavor because it's not like you're just. It's not like a wet beer fa flavor necessarily. It's right. like right. it's kind of like a. There's a little bit of hoppiness, and it's like there's a bit of a cinnamony flavor to it, and it's also Ooh. the mint flavor. Yeah. Um, but it's what now oh, when you, you say it's good. When you say it's good, do you mean it's it tastes like beer in that it's good, or that it actually in, tastes good? 
like I can see where they're coming from, where the, it having the the notion of of like a beer flavor to it, but like yeah. I don't think that they would have gotten away with making it taste like like straight up like barley, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. but I wouldn't have brought this up to talk about if I didn't actually like it because you know, like because yeah, it, it's an, it a brand thing that I was doing. But like mm. you know, it, it's it's actually good. <laughs> I, it actually, I have like a tin. I, I got a couple tins at my place too. And I, I, I remember what preceded this <laughs> when I opened up your story. Yeah, you had sent a a, a snap to your close friends. Yeah, saying, guys, <laughs> just want to let you know, yeah. I'm about to do an ad for beer. <laughs> yeah. So for context, I basically I have a close friend story on my Instagram that is. I recently started using my close friend story as kind of like what my Instagram story used to be before I had like 600,000 followers on Instagram. Mm. So I've started like using that as like, so I have all the people that I personally know on my close friends. So yeah. for the people, cause it used to, but my Instagram account, it used to be just like my Instagram account when I was sure, like sure. in high school and college and stuff. Um, so I posted a story and I was like, guys, listen, <laughs> I haven't done an Instagram ad since like fucking, I don't know, 20 fucking 19 or something like that. So I was like, guys, I'm doing an ad just so you know, okay. don't be, don't <laughs> be alarmed. I'm not, I'm not kidnapped or something. So yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that you I, saw that and you're like, it, cause it was like, you know, cause it's like, if you got people from your hometowns and stuff that are watching your Instagram stories, I don't want them to be like, what the fuck is this? What, what, I, what's I just, this guy doing? I imagine the whiplash of someone who you went to high school with, who hasn't really kept up with you at all. And to just randomly just see, seeing me doing just Miller Lite. Opening, opening you up and, and you seeing the fucking <laughs> beer mints and going, is that Teddy Niv? Like what the, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is he doing a, a beer ad for? That's funny that you, you call me Teddy Niv too. Cause when I was in high school or no, not even high school. When I was in elementary school, I used to go by Teddy when I was Teddy. younger. Yeah. Teddy. I never oh, went by Teddy. Theo though, but I'm trying to bring that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to add that to my repertoire. Sometimes I introduce no, my, myself to people no, as Theo. No, no, you no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't do that. Excuse me. What, 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 Tucker's shaking end. his head too. Like there's Tucker, a problem. Here. No, that because yeah, that was out, just. Ed, you, you're that's done. What do you mean? That's what do you mean? What's wrong, this year. <laughs> What's wrong with Theo? Okay, maybe I'll start going. I'll start introducing myself as Theodore to people. No, no. That's my even name. Worse. That's my that's my oh, legal. Even worse. That's my God given name. Don't what, care. even worse. What I'm making mean? a resolution for you. Okay, it this is an intervention gift. now. This episode of the podcast just became an intervention. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna how do, how we're gonna an intervene. Any... We're gonna resolve to not ever introduce ourselves as Theo. Wait, or hold on, Theodore. hold on. Back up, back up. Back. Pretend you guys just walked mm -hmm. in the room. I'll be like, uh -huh. "What are you guys all doing here? It's all. It's everyone. <laughs> Tucker, Schlatt, What are you guys doing? Here? Ted, Ted, there's there's a lot of talk. What do you mean? What do you? What, what's, There's a lot of talk. What's going your on? Friends, like, your family. It's hard. It's and hard also, for us can to I just say, this? Tucker? Can I just? Oh. Say, I actually prefer to go by Theo now, Tucker. So maybe oh, if you could yeah. call me back. All right. Yeah, let me stop you right there. It's funny. It's funny to say that, Ted. Ted. This Eddie, isn't an even, easy. This isn't an easy thing that, for us to be that's talking part about. Of the problem. What, 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 what do you mean? What, you don't like. You don't like me. We, that, it kind of rolls off the tongue well, doesn't it? We're going to be honest. We're going to be honest with you, buddy. It's hard. It's hard. It really is. But we do this because we love you. Okay. You know, I thought if you guys loved you, me, you'd maybe support my fucking ideas. And I thought that maybe got, it's part of my, it's my, it's one of my names. Stop, it's an option. Stop Theodore, talking. Stop Theodore. talking. Theodore. Oh. Stop. Stop Ed, it. You're offending people. You're done with Theo. Your mother called me. Lisa calls me up. Lisa called she you? She says you have to talk to him. You have to. She said, my Teddy. My Teddy. He thinks he's named something else. He thinks he's a Theo, a Theodore. When I think of the name Theo Ted, I think of Theo Joe, the YouTuber who used to make fake technology tutorials on YouTube. I don't want about that. Downloading more RAM. Well, I don't and, you want You know, I it's just not who I RAM. see when I think of when I think of Ted. When I think of Teddy, you know. Fine, I'll go to therapy. Fine. Maybe that, honestly, I'll go to therapy. That might that might benefit you a little bit. That might benefit you. I will say one thing, actually. This oh. year, I've been because I've I've tried therapy in the past, and we're we're at it. We're at a, the intervention now. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, 
I've tried therapy in the past, but I've been trying to do it a little bit more this year. Um, and I have a, a very interesting story about my first experience with a therapist because I did it um, and I got I got matched with this therapist and I was like not this was like a week ago and I was like not feeling very good. I was stressing over stuff. I was not feeling emotionally at Wait, my peak. Can I, can I add just a snippet for that? What I knew Ted was upset because we were in Florida and Ted texts me. He's like, Hey man, I miss you. And I was Aww. like, what? Like is Ted? About, well, Ted actually, laid I in think, the bathroom no, floor? honestly, I think, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think when I texted you that I just was just cause I missed you. And I, we had, cause we usually yeah. talk every day. Mm. So like I hadn't, and we hadn't spoken in like four days, which was like, it's weird. It on like a, a we, have, we have, it did. We have a different, like we have a different like time zone in between because i can go like i can go like two three weeks without talking to a lot of my friends but like if tucker and i go like more than like three days it's like it's like what the fuck where, where is he is he dead is he dead <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah no I, I i get in this in this call with this with this therapist guy and you know um i i don't fully know how to talk about the with the intro with a therapist like i don't know like i don't know what the what, like how you initially get to know each other but it basically you do a cold it, open yeah yeah you so say hi yeah. i'm theo <laughs> <laughs> um, theodore <laughs> but basically you know the call starts and it's a it's a the through the internet so it's just like on a on a like a voice call uh, or a video call and it's like things already start off bad because the guy his it's like shitty webcam and his face is in the lower third of the frame and i'm like okay oh God. <laughs> okay i already know from the get-go we're gonna have a little bit less to relate about than i probably thought of beforehand and he's like an older guy and he doesn't seem like he knows what's going on he's like he's like hey how's it going ted and i'm like hey hey how's it going and i'm on this same setup right here i'm in this same room microphone camera and all that mm. and he's like he's like he's like oh so so what do you uh you got you got quite the nice like setup there you know i'm like yeah yeah no this is this is like my my work setup this is my office um and then he's like he starts getting like a little shifty and weird and he's like so he's like so what are you looking for from this and i'm like um mm -hmm. i you know like therapy i guess i, I you know i'm You're supposed i'm, to I'm not <laughs> yeah like i'm not I'm feeling really good like i'm just looking for therapy and i want to talk about my feelings or whatever um, and then he's like, ask me some follow-up questions and a little back and forth, but I said something's weird until the guy says to me, um, listen, I don't, I don't want you playing any games with me. What? And I'm like, yeah, I'm oh. like, what? And I'm like, what? And I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Cause I'm like, this guy just seems like he doesn't think that I'm serious about or like that I didn't like prepare beforehand or something like that. I was really confused. You think you were going to make a video? So hold on. I'm like asking him back and forth. And then he's like, he's basically like, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with any of this. I think that you're going to have to, you're going to have to find this somewhere else. So, uh, and it's, uh, so you have a good day. And I'm like asking him for clarification. I'm like, I'm like, well, well, what did I, is it how I answered that I want therapy? Like, I'm sorry that I, I've never, I don't really know how to talk about it. And he's like, he refuses to elaborate. He's like, nope, have a good day. Boop. Call ends. I sit there, black mirror. I'm just looking at myself in the black mirror of my fucking uh, computer screen. And I'm feeling shitty at the time. So I'm like, oh, fuck. What the fuck? What a terrible way to start. It was like 10 a.m. in the morning. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck, man? That's actually so, really lame. So I think, and Tucker, you were onto it at that point. I think the guy was like, technology phobic or something because he was yeah. like weirded out by the fact that i had like a nice camera and a nice microphone so i think he thought it was like a setup and i was like like I, I was getting i was getting clocked for for having too nice of a setup because this guy probably didn't know that anything beyond his fucking facetime with his head peeking out from the lower <laughs> end of the fucking thing frame worked it was the weirdest weirdest thing ever I got like matched with like a new therapist and he's been like, he's been good so far. I've like, I've got, you know, he's, but that guy, it was like weird. It was probably the weirdest therapy, like just general healthcare kind of thing that I've ever had. That's gotta be the worst first impression to therapy ever. Yeah. Well, I, I've done like, a little that's bit of as therapy bad as in the it past. Gets. Yeah. 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 I'm glad it wasn't like my, my, my like very first 
like impression of it. But like, if I was someone who was trying to get into therapy and I came in there, I would have been like, I would have been like, oh, so this is all a fucking scam. <laughs> yeah. I'm so this, paying this is, <laughs> how much for this? <laughs> yeah, I'm paying how much for this. And the guy's just like decides that he doesn't want, he's like, he was like, no, I'm fine. Bye. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm struggling right now. I, I scheduled yeah. this with you. <laughs> oh, That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, no. You can it was, talk, uh, dude, man. Uh, like, you can talk to me whenever. I'm here. Yeah, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna give yeah. that a hard pass. I'm gonna give that a hard pass because you know what you're gonna say. What? Uh, in a genuine way, I know that you. But I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what Schlatt would say. Schlatt's gonna be like, uh -huh. Nah, man, drink, drink. Got to grab that bottle, man. Takes you got to find the closest the liquor a store. Bit. You know, <laughs> you feeling nervous? There's a quick way to stop that. <laughs> There's a really quick way. I mean, like one one sip or two in, and then all of a sudden. Every time I'm feeling sad, I like to go to I like to go to what I call Schlatland. I, I, <laughs> and I get there for, I get there with my magic wand. Holds up a bottle oh, yeah. of fucking cognac. My my secret elixir. <laughs> my secret elixir. Yeah, like you're a wizard. <laughs> I I'm gonna be honest with you. My, the, the most useful thing my therapist uh, a couple of years ago ever did for me was tell me a quote by Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, so he gets to get called Theodore, huh? He gets to rock yeah. with that? Well, you don't think I can speak softly and carry a, a big stick? You don't president. think I can do that? When you're a fucking president, people can call you whatever they want. My middle okay? name is Kennedy? It is? Yes. That's just because your dad's got a hell of an ego. No. No. You think my dad was like, got out of the womb, was like, I think I'm going to have my middle name be Kennedy. Like, it's not like he gave yeah. it to himself. Yeah, I do. That. <laughs> You're talking about my he grandpa right now. his middle name over to you? Yeah. I, I, uh. If I said my first and last name, I would be Ted Kennedy. Ted Kennedy. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe think twice about my presidential... You know, maybe maybe on the twenty thirty six ballot, you might be seeing someone real familiar, real Ted, familiar, and he's going to have some a, crazy policies, including leading old people away with baked beans. That's I'm gonna. That's my going to be my solution. The homeless problem is I'm going to say I'm going to say we got to get them. We got to get some Heinz in there. We got to get some smoked, some some of the nice stuff. Some of the some of some of that some of that not the signature select bullshit like no, not even heinz no, actually we gotta get no, that no. kind of shit that looks like it it was it was made in a fucking back corner smoky room in a mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. a in a fucking just by unnamed, two monks just yeah. by two monks in the two, mountains two monks in the mountains of texas yeah two monks in the mountains <clears throat> only they know the recipe too and they yeah. worship god while they're doing it yeah uh i gotta say ted kennedy extremely strong name right powerful i mean dude if you were if <laughs> if Ted i didn't Nibison, have a last name that nobody you know, knows how to pronounce you know yeah, i'd be i'd be rocking yeah. pretty well oh dude that's ted kennedy yeah. fuck oh. that rolls off the tongue dude. <laughs> can you imagine tucker is like yeah, having I'm a sold. moment here I'm fucking sold. ted kennedy but you're not i'm not you're right oh what was the what was the quote though before we move on oh uh the man in the arena it's a very long quote that he gave during a speech. It's basically uh, to the extent of, why do you care what <laughs> other people say and think when they're not the ones who can do what you do? They're not the ones who, who toil greatly and see great failure and great success. You know, I like that. that and that's a word I, that we don't use very often anymore that I think we got to bring back, toiling. toiling. You knew exactly what I was talking about too. You did like that was that was a long sentence, and you knew exactly what part of the sentence I was talking about, Schlatt. Yeah. Toy. How about this? How about this? Where is the full quote? Ah, here we go. Love this thing. Love this thing. And and think about like a Theodore saying it with like funny circular glasses and a big stick. You know. Uh huh. Dude, that's me. You're talking about me no, right no, now. No, 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 I've no, got no, funny no, no, circular glasses. No, no. You're talking about me right now. Ted, it is not the critic who counts. Not mm. the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or Ooh. where the doer of deeds could have done them better. Okay. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, Ooh. whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, Ooh. who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without Pretty error and shortcoming. But who, what? 
you said who comes short. And so I said premature ejaculation. But Continue. who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the mm. best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, mm. and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly. Ooh. So that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls never. who neither know victory nor defeat. Ooh, cold and timid souls. That's a yeah. that's a hard line right there. That's, that's bars. And you know what? I think of that and I just see, oh, well, that's Twitter. Well, that's yeah. the YouTube comment section. Well, that's anybody who, who, uh, who throws those fucking stones. So you know what I gotta do? I gotta get on. I gotta get on Cameo, and I gotta get one year for Tucker's birthday. I, 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 I uh, got him some a cameo from Jeff Steinzer. I think he's the voice of the uh, uh, from Halo, like Overkill. Oh, like yeah, he's yeah. that voice. And I had him mm -hmm. say some like lines from our friend group. Um, I gotta get him to say to read that off and make my alarm in the morning and be like <laughs> that that'd be crazy i'd be waking up I'd get a little yeah. get some fucking halo music under it too da, 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 da. Dude, that'd be that that'd quote, go hard that quote goes so unbelievably hard it's crazy that's I a had, good uh, quote i came back from that therapy session and i printed it out and i stuck it right above my monitor and it stayed there until I upgraded to a carved wooden plaque of it. Dude, that's fucking nice. I like that. I like that. Yeah, was, yeah. Wait, wait, what was that quote? I, I just looking up for myself. Just search up the man <laughs> in the arena. Tucker, just to have, just to have. I'm gonna I'm gonna visit Tucker next I, time. I it's like, gonna be like different like, plaques. Yeah, plaques. <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna look at his bathroom. It's gonna be like marble, marble on the floor with it etched in like a but like yeah, a I fucking... found this quote, I just really felt it. <laughs> like Dude, can I say something? If you yeah, do of course. if you do cameo. Can you please do it as Ted Kennedy? <laughs> like impersonating Ted Kennedy or just no, like having no, my no, name, no, no, my no. display like, name? I don't even know who Ted Kennedy, I don't know. Was that a real person? Yeah, no, it was like a politician, like like oh, the brother of that John F. John. Kennedy, I think. Yeah, no, the whole Kennedy family is like, uh, oh. whole Kennedy family is a bunch of politicians. It was actually a Kennedy running for governor in Massachusetts semi-recently. Robert, I think. There's one running for president right now. Yeah, I think it's Robert Kennedy. Robert, I don't RFK. think that that one. I don't know if that one's related. Is he related to the Kennedys? I'm thinking He's of a different be. Kennedy. I think look up, really? look up, look up Kennedy election Massachusetts, oh. and uh, and it should be a different guy. I'm just saying, man. I hear Ted Kennedy, and that's that's just one of the strongest like stalwart names I've ever heard. You know. Like that's a that's a name you see on Snapchat on the Discover section, and you're like, "Fuck, that's a really strong name," you know. Are you related to the Kennedys? No, I'm gonna go not. on Snapchat, Ted. <laughs> okay. I'm on Snap. I'm on Snap. I'm on okay. my Snapchat, Jay Schlatt, which is blowing up over the past couple of days. Blowing up. I'm gonna scroll to my Discover section, and I'm gonna read out. I'm gonna just scroll through all the people who are promoted on this app and read out some of the names I see, and you will agree with me. Wow, they are. Are you trying? Else. Are you trying to get me on Snapchat? Is that was this? What, no, what I'm the just saying. Is I'm just saying. If you joined as Ted Kennedy, you would be among the ranks <laughs> oh. of. And I'm just, I'm just scrolling right now. Gavin Magnus. That's Jenny the... Sinatra. These oh, these are the man. He looks crazy. Joe Shulk. You don't think that I'm Ted Nevison has enough one. oomph to it? I gotta have like a I gotta have like Ted a Skyrim last Kennedy, name, like Magnus. Ted Kennedy, dude. Nick Hooks. Hooks? H O O X. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Bryce Boos. <laughs> That's a little silly. Come on. B U S E. That sounds like he's that sounds like he's like that sounds something like inappropriate. Like like Bryce. Like, Boos. Like Bryce Boos? Bryce Boos. Oh, he's, he's Bryce a cutie. Boos. He's a cutie. How about this? How about this? He's got that TikTok Carter, look to him. Carter Kench. Some of these names, it's just like, fuck. Like, it just rolls off the tongue. It sounds like something that happens to your, your asshole or something when something goes wrong. Like, oh, I got a Kench right uh -huh. now. I, I got a, I got a nasty just, Kench right I'm now. I'm just saying, I mean, it just feels like photo. some of these people were He looks like he's having a Kench in that photo. <laughs> just feels like some of these people right were now. born for it you know like you'll see a name you're like what 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 what's what's a girl doing being named regan 
Reagan you know, and you're or just Reagan. Like, Reagan, whatever. That's got to be an influencer right there. Yeah. They, w- they wouldn't or name a rich. girl. They wouldn't name anyone Reagan unless they were they were growing her in a test tube. <laughs> Throwing her in a test tube, trying to trying to trying to <laughs> trying to grow some extra arms on her or something. Post your Reagan. Did you post your stories today? Yes. Good. Good. <laughs> Oh, they're growing her to be to an eat. influencer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Reagan is like, that's a rich kid name, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. Definitely. What are other rich kid names? Because there's like ones that are like, okay, that's old money. Like, 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 I don't know, fucking Bar- Bartholomew or something like yeah. that. But, you know, there's like the the James. new age. What? James. No, that's a working man's name. What are you talking about? James? Mm, James. It's like one of... That's like one James J A M E S. You're saying is a, is yeah. a is a rich kid name. That's like yeah. one of the most common names in the world. And you're saying that all those people are fucking rolling in it. Yeah, something like Henry feels rich to me because there's been so many kings. Yeah. Um, oh, I no. okay. Well, I can't say yes to that, and then say no to Tucker saying James though, based on the yeah, king that's line. True. But yeah. there's so many shitty Jameses, you know. Like you, listen to this right now. Fucking dweeb. We're watching you, James. Fucking We're watching you. James, how dare Without you come money. to this place? This James. Is a, this is a working to, man's podcast, listen to James. this with your fucking AirPods in. Fuck you. AirPod. Oh, no, no. AirPod Maxes. He's wearing AirPod Maxes oh, right now. Maxes, of course. Wow. What a course. fucking loser. Wow. Dude, I know, oh, I know, oh, I know oh. Reagan's posting about her AirPod Max gym workout. Yeah, because she wears fucking thousand dollar heavy as yeah. fuck headphones at the gym, walking even around though they're Lulu totally Lemon. not comfortable and not waterproof. Yeah, fucking idiot, not waterproof, and and you are and you're also not you're doing shit, not productive sets either on exactly in, in, with those weights. not even doing and you're not even sets. putting the weights back because you're like oh someone will do it for me. No, not even you're supposed the to put the weight. You re rack your weights, Reagan. Reagan. I'll tell you who'd put the weights back. Gavin Magnus. Magnus. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, Gavin Magnus? That can't be his real name. <laughs> he sounds kind of like um he sounds like he looks like Timmy Turner from The Fairly Odd oh, Parents if he wow. got if he got dropped in and you know, I'm sure he's a nice kid, but he looks like Timmy Turner if he got dropped in like that shit that the Joker fell in in the comics. He's definitely not a nice kid. <laughs> I'm just, Tucker, just in case, just in case that. he's listening, Tucker. You're don't so say sure. That about you're Gavin so Magnus? sure he's a piece of shit. Tucker's like a hundred. He had to. He had to. He couldn't even keep that in. He had to be like, no, no, this guy's an asshole. I. Okay. Are you kidding? Uh, okay, me? I'm convinced. No, mm. no, no. Yeah. I get it. Sorry, Gavin. Sorry, Gavin. You Gavin mean? looks like he's he has a song. You know. Gavin's a rich name. Is it? Gavin, yeah, and I feel like it's some southern bullshit. Well, I th- I thought it was more like English. Gavin Mc like Mc McGraw. That's Gavin. a that's a singer. That's a singer. Gavin McGraw. Is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it is. Look <laughs> up Gavin McGraw. Digger. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> I think it's because you know the artist is why he came Maybe. out of your mouth. Yeah. Maybe. Gavin. Gavin. There he is. DeGraw, I guess. Gavin. I think DeGraw. you said Dish. Yeah. <laughs> to not okay just because he has a boiler cap on doesn't need mean he's like fucking <laughs> or that's not a boiler cap or a fuck, whatever a newsies cap or whatever oh geez ted i'm saying you were blessed with the opportunity of one of the strongest names ever but it would and be fake it wouldn't be real it wouldn't be real it's no because it's a birth document i'm not like one yeah but th- then i'm i'm skipping out on the last name i will say that if i throw on the junior on there it makes everything because I'm a junior too, you know that. Ted Kennedy Jr. Yes, wow, that's oh a president. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. Why not? Fuck. Okay, but why can't Ted Theod- Kennedy why can't- Jr. The fuck out of here? Why can't Theodore Kennedy Nivison Jr. work as a presidential name? Well, you, you, this seems like you're you kind of have it out for my last name specifically. I'm just is- saying, man. I'm just saying. Like, I am. I am either really lucky that I made it big, calling myself Schlatt. Because that's just gaming. the ugliest fucking name of all time. All right. Yeah, but then it's 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 so memeable though. You know, I've I know, been calling you I sh- I, and and I and I'll tell you one thing. I've been calling you Schlag since like 2018. Yep. And, that's true. We and didn't now know you each got, other then. Since Had 2019. No idea who you were then. Since yeah, 2019. That's, that's fair. 
No, we we've known each other since 2018, late 2018. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. No. Yes. No, definitely not. Are you sure? I get. Yes. You know what? Yeah, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> You're right. 2019. 2019. Okay. I I yield. Yeah. I yield. Yeah. Um. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But back well, on the podcast now. I mean, jeez. Yeah, look at us. Jeez. Look at us. Look God. at us. Ted, what's your resolution going? I was actually. Today? I was going to ask you the same question. That's crazy. We're synced That's up crazy. right now. We're on a fucking podcast right now. We're two white dudes on a podcast. Two white dudes on a podcast. Producer's another white dude. He's also a white dude. Yeah. He's the whitest That's of right. all too. That's right, baby. Can't help it. He's a cute little cherub, though. I'll tell you what my resolution is. I've actually got them all. I'll tell you one thing. I've got them all written on the wall, and they're just, I think, okay, in a very That's real way, whiteboard. <laughs> my, my, one of my big ones is to um, invest more in my friendships. Hey. Oh. Yeah, I thought well, you were gonna say invest in the S and P. Tucker, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought that he was that gonna. Say. That would have been a good one. <laughs> well, I actually do. Recently, started having investments. Okay. I got a financial advisor, which nice. is good. Um, but like, talk like my online friends. I feel like I'm pretty well connected to. Like you know, like and Tucker, you're, you're you know, I I talk to you all the time. But my people in person, like I feel like I never get out of my apartment, or at least last year I felt like I didn't. So this year I'm trying to get out more and do more things. And like, yeah, get up to more activities because I'll like shut myself away for like a week. And there's so much to do in the city that I live in. And I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? <sighs> yeah. So I'm looking for enrichment. True. I'm looking to enrich my life a little bit more. Maybe travel a little bit. Travel just for fun. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Yeah. No, maybe. Maybe. Maybe go to Spain. Meet some hot Spanish chicks. Go to Ibiza. Nah, dude. They all have lists. Do some Molly. There. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm gonna do Molly this year. All, what do you, what do you all think of dirty that? Dirty up there. Don't do Molly. Don't Why not? Molly. Why can't I? It's 2024. Go to the liquor store. Get a bottle of Benedictine and shut up. Drop okay. some Molly in the Benedictine. <laughs> now, now it's, now it's now the now nectar it's, of the gods because you will no, be feeling like you're in heaven. Okay, that's that's <laughs> that went hard. Wait. Okay. So <laughs> okay. thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, it's interesting that you're drawing the line at Molly, though. I don't fuck with drugs. Okay. Alcohol there's is only drug. one. There's only one drug Jesus touched and created in the Bible, in the okay. Gospels, and that was water to wine, aka alcohol, aka Benedictine, in my throat. <laughs> Benedictine, glug glug glug. I'm getting closer to glug, Jesus. Glug, glug. It's time. Yeah, and you know what? That's why I stick to that. And it's totally not because weed is still illegal in Texas for whatever reason. You could grow the fuck out of that over here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. It's it's legal in New York City now, I've noticed. I was in New York City recently, and I was walking, but not the state of New York, I don't think. Oh, Just it's in, hella it legal is. in New York State. Wait, I'm totally wrong. Yeah, it's very Went legal, to a dispensary with Tucker in New York. Um, yep. But I was a little bit confused because I was like walking through New York City, and I was seeing the dispensaries, and I was like, did this happen? When did this happen? <laughs> but then also, I, I don't know. I'm confused on what's, le- what's been legalized. Time. Yeah, weed I is legal, so. but there's still going to be people who are scammed by those fucking weed trucks that sell you like CBD oil with nothing in it. See, you know? wait, weed trucks? What are these? Oh, yeah. The weed like trucks. Like an ice in cream New truck for City. weed? Yeah. They, they, they'll have a big like <clears throat> marijuana leaf on it and they'll just drive around New York City and be like, yo, we're selling weed. And then everyone's oh. like, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> it's got to be a tourist just, like, trap thing. Shitty little oil. Yeah. Yeah. It's for all the Texans. Yeah, yeah. For all the Texans visiting New York yeah. City, where they're yeah, like, "I'm going to get some weed." Wow, while I'm in town. weed's <laughs> legal here. <laughs> yeah, and they did. They yeah. do the oil. They're like, "Dude, I think I'm. I think I'm overdosing right now, dude. I think I'm way too high. <laughs> I got. I'm greening out. I got I'm the, greening out, bro. I'm I got the spins, out. dude. I got the spins. <laughs> Fuck, That's dude. funny, dude. What's yeah. your What's your resolution, though, Sean? Sean, what's your resolution? So I'll, I have two for you. Okay. The first one. Take it at face value or don't take it at face value. I'd like to improve my relationship with the God. Okay. The God. The God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And second. The Almighty. The Almighty. The Holy Spirit. Jesus. And the second one, which I do want you to take at face value, I'd like to only start something new if it's more so out of enjoyment and fulfillment 
rather than just growth and money because <laughs> I got plenty of that. That's a that's a pretty good one. I think that 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 that's a good one for you because you 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 have a tendency to to you like starting start projects. Shit. You I start shit. I'm you a love planner. start. You love starting projects, dude. dude you, I I enjoy planning a vacation out in like a Google spreadsheet just as much as I do actually being there. Wow, it, that is insane know? how different that is yeah. than like the way my brain works. Cause like, mm. I am just not an itinerary guy. Tucker can attest to this when we go on our road trips. It's just drive and figure out where we're staying two hours before we figure it out. Sometimes sleeping in the car. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, I, I'm, a, I'm a big planner. I love thinking about stuff and, and starting new things. The idea of something new kind of gets me going. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think at this point, I've st I've I've learned so many lessons from starting shit. Right. Like last year, there was the Ditch Light Win podcast that went for seven episodes with a eighth encore uh, two months later. Right. I never I never came on either. It would have been no, funny I if I came on. I Honestly, it would have just been a separate episode of Chuckle Sandwich that existed on a different <laughs> I podcast. I know. Uh, but I I mean I thought I was into that for a while, but then I realized, oh, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I was just hyped about it, but not actually. I don't know. I, I was hyped. I was. Well, wasn't it? It was. I think that what you know, and you can take. You can. I think maybe you need an assistant, like a hot babe. Could be a babe. Could be a. Could be a Jessica Rabbit if like you a, want. Like a big titted. I suppose it did. <laughs> maybe goth. It could. It could do. You know. It could goth. be goth. Maybe a goth mommy assistant. Yeah, and I wake up and she slaps me and and she says she says to me, "Here's what you're doing today." And I say, "Yes, thank you." Yeah, you wake up in, in handcuffs and she's like, "Yeah, you want me to unlock these? <laughs> Promise me you'll do your work." No, but I, in, in a real way though, I think that that could be because you, you you like to start your projects, but maybe like the the there's an overwhelming aspect of all of them, you know. So maybe maybe it's valuable to I don't mm -hmm. know. Have someone that I'm, that's what I'm doing this year because a, a lot of people I know have assistants that I help. Oh, you gonna get? You I gonna think get a so. Big I don't really. Fat ass goth may, maybe, too? maybe. I don't know, man. I, come on, like. But live I in think too. Live in. No, <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't know. I, I've talked to some people in our in our space who who have assistants that help them with the administrative stuff and just getting like the because a lot of what we do is like if you want to scale it, it's like it can be a lot of like stuff to keep track of at once. So I think yeah. it might actually be valuable for me, but we'll see if I've never had an assistant before anything. I've mostly done everything myself. So it's like, you know, with the exception of like with Chuckle, it's like we brought Tucker on that help us with the load of Chuckle, you know, uh, but I don't know. Something to consider, man. Something to consider. There's there's definitely moments where uh, I, I mean I think this whole YouTube career has been in a been a balancing act of like what you need to micromanage and what you can offload to others and accept help for. Yeah. And uh, it's still some of figuring out. Jambo, it's not food time. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if like if I had done like a like an office job for a little like gone in, into the workload for maybe maybe if I. I don't know. Hit if YouTube hit in the mid twenties or something. Maybe I'd have I have more of this shit figured out. Because yeah. like people like uh, like you know like Jarvis Johnson. He's he is you know he worked at Patreon for several years, right, um, right. and he's like you know he's got it all figured out. It feels like he's he's very organized and like I don't know. But that's well, a good. Jarvis but that is, is a, probably thinking, man. I need one too. I need. I need. He a does guff. have one. They, yeah, they, they, that's who I've been one? talking to about it. He's got an assistant oh. that helps him with doing sure. doing his video output and stuff. But um, well, that, that might be helpful then. Yeah, but that's a good resolution. I think that that would be a cool thing for you to focus on. Yeah, man. This year. I just want to be a little more intentional with with the projects and make sure <laughs> that they're something I can, you know, wholeheartedly commit to. Yeah, because it's so forward. easy. It's so easy. Also, and I'm I'm a victim of this too. To like. Go to your audience and be like, big things on the way, guys. Big things coming up. Yeah. We got a big project yeah. we're working mm -hmm. on. It. And then just like not fall. F I have like a video <laughs> where I'm like, I have this video where I, that my I'm back video from like several years ago. And I was like, I'm going to start posting more. And I was like, posted it as the motivation because I was like, I said, I'm going to do this now. I have to. And right. I was like, I was going to, I was telling myself I was going to be posting every two weeks on my main YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. How's that worked out for me? 
Uh, last video I posted was after a five month break, so it's been uh, going real well. <laughs> five months is crazy. Five yeah, no, no, five nice. months. That was. I don't think I'll ever go like a brick like that again. I've got that big one that I'm that I'm finishing up that should be at the beginning okay. of the uh, at the beginning nice. of the month. So very good. Yeah. Um, you hear about that guy? Mm. Mm. You hear about that guy that uh, that fell into the Bass Pro Shop? Uh, Bass Pro Shop tank? No. What happened? So there, there's a guy that got butt ass naked and started swimming in the in the <laughs> oh is this him <laughs> yeah that's him that's him and he was an alabama man look at him he's just swimming he's just wow he's just hanging out oh dave wait wait what the fuck the, no he's arrested dude at first if if there's any way tucker can go back at first there was that image of him with his hands behind his back i thought it was both his arms and both his legs up in the air like he was getting <laughs> like he was getting like hogtied like, yeah like he was getting hogtied like he was a fucking turkey oh, and man. he looked like one dude dude yeah the dude got fucking got fucking naked and started swimming in 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 the fucking bass po pro shop little thing i can't blame them people have been trying to figure out how they built those fucking things for tens of thousands of years the wait the bass pro shops the pyramids oh you think <laughs> was, it at, was it at the it was at all bass that'd be crazy if all bass pro shops were just like there the whole time and then like one company <laughs> bought them out and they're like we're gonna do something with this why don't we start selling equipment here Apparently, a lot of people fucking do that shit. I feel Apparently bad. The Sphinx used to be uh, a, a dog head. And all the weathering and erosion. Kind of, holy shit. Are What's he you doing? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> What's he fucking doing? Jesus Christ, Jambo. Dude, Jambo is fucking throwing a fit right now. He just fucking... He like yeah. swatted all my tubs of camera <laughs> stuffs off the dresser. That's a that's a cry for attention. You you got to get him out of control. You got he's looking for something. That's a I sign. Don't even know. Yeah, he's acting out right now, dude. The Sphinx used to be a dog head, and all the years of why are you laughing, Tucker? Because you just right back. <laughs> the, it used to be a dog he head, in. and yeah. the sand and the wind and the erosion. It weathered it down until the Egyptians who discovered it, who did not build it, who discovered the Sphinx there. Why are you saying this all like it's a fact? They put one of the pharaohs face on it. Dude, Sphinx that's a used crazy to be photo. Wait, a that giant first photo dog is a, head. Why they why a beagle of all dogs did they choose? Like that wasn't that, around in that right there that used to be the sphinx that's why the sphinx's face is so small compared to its body because it used to be a dog is this true yes and when the egyptians found it there they carved their own pharaoh into the fucking thing they didn't build that well maybe they Things did build it for, but just... thousands, for millions of years well the egyptians maybe. were around for a long okay that's crazy you gotta put that away Tucker. they, that's... they <laughs> did not <laughs> Jambo what? agrees with me. Jambo's the one who sold me on this. He said, hey. He doesn't speak it English. used to be. That cat doesn't speak English. Yes, he does. No, Sometimes, he, that's, in the middle of the night, I'll wake up after I take five Benadryls to put myself to sleep. And, and he's going to be. And he's, my be head. and he's like, and he's like, you need to feed me more. He's he like, stares at me with his big, big <laughs> eyes. And he's got a human mouth. Oh, that's scary. It's like a fucking yeah. 2006 internet video. Tucker's getting into this. Tucker's yeah, like Tucker's putting like, on his yeah. focus Tucker's, like this. Tucker's crawling through the fucking conspiracy <laughs> website. Alternative. <laughs> okay, this is r slash alternative history. Are you sure that this is true, Schlatt? I don't know if this is true. Yes, dude. I'll tell you one thing. I'll I'll like a video on TikTok about how the Sphinx used to be a dog, and then I get so much bullshit conspiracy, you know, bullshit like, i don't even know how to say it it's just like from fucking global you, you agree buzz with aldrin one, fucking with nonsense the one true buzz aldrin yeah but i, I don't saw know. him at an airport recently did you really? know that really yeah. he lives in yeah. la i think i was at what i was at charlotte airport i believe in north carolina oh sometimes 
I don't fly direct. That's okay. <laughs> did, like, did you think I was going to chew you out about that? <laughs> did you I think I was going to clean? <laughs> yeah, keep it. You say sometimes I don't fly. Oh, what the fuck, <laughs> man? What are you doing? I got into the terminal. I wanted some Chick Fil A. And I start walking, and I see a guy uh-huh. who kind of looks like Buzz Aldrin, and he's walking with some younger lady. What does Buzz Aldrin even look like now? He's looks like a kind of like Joe Biden, but kinda a little like, different so face. Like, so like eighty five, like yeah. Oh, let me see. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't look anything like that. Doesn't look anything yeah, like that's what he. So <laughs> I. I'm looking at this guy, and I, I think to myself, is that Buzz Aldrin? I says to and myself. I look, and I start looking down, and my eyes shift down, and he's got a he's got a little fleece, collared fleece, you know, the fleece collared pullover thing. Yeah. Does he's it say got NASA wearing on that, it? And it says fucking NASA on it. Dude. And I go, oh, that is Buzz Aldrin. Damn. And I don't say shit to him because he punches people. He does. Have you seen that video, Tucker? He punches Tucker? people. Yeah. Do you want me to pull that up? You can or? pull yeah. that up. You can pull that up sure. for our, I was our, about to our tell video him. watchers. Buzz, you know, the Sphinx used to be a dog, and he punches me in the face. That's what would have happened. <laughs> that would have, yeah. I mean, like, he has any authority to even talk about that. Yeah, no, this guy is, like, trying to talk. To, he's, like, telling him to put his hand on the Bible. Also, can we just talk about this dude that's harassing Buzz Aldrin? Buzz Aldrin is dressed in the nines in this video. And this other yeah. guy's got like the fucking jean and then and then dress jacket combo going on. He's just asking to get punched. He's wearing he a t shirt under is. a under a yeah. fucking dress je- dress coat. It's ridiculous. But yeah, no, he does punch people. He does punch he people. Does. And if I told him what, what I was thinking in that very moment, I would have gotten punched. So you think time. that he he has that reaction to any conspiracy? Like, <laughs> well, no, I was, I was, like you, you go up to him and say that the frogs are turning gay and he starts no, wailing on you. I was going to ask him about the sound stage, <laughs> but, uh, oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah the sound yeah. stage. <laughs> that is crazy, though. You saw a man that there's not a very, you know, in terms of the whole population of the world, very, very few people are still alive who have walked on the moon. That's kind of crazy. True. Well, he's ninety three or something. He so, yeah. He, that's I was crazy. surprised he was still walking around. To be honest, he still had a nice posture to him. Really? Yeah, because yeah. some people who are ninety three, they ain't looking so hot. They start to turn yeah, it. They start. They're... They start to like. It literally looks like they're 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 shriveling. Like their mm-hmm. spine starts to compress. They start to hunch over and stuff. And those people, they did everything <clears throat> right. They did everything the doctors told them to do, and they still wound up like that. And it's the old fucks who say, I smoke a pack a day, I drink a Dr. Pepper every night. <laughs> That's my who favorite Who make it thing. to the end. And it's not fair. And it's not fair. One man deludes an entire nation about going to the fucking moon, okay, and he's well, the one who gets to live, huh? Okay, well, he's the one this. who gets to live all those years in good health, unlike my grandma who was murdered by Andrew Cuomo. A lot of your listeners love you to death. Slides looking a little bit mad. Governor right Andrew Cuomo killed my grandmother. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you know, it, it, it was a multifaceted it's event. Up. It's, it's a fucked up that they renamed the oh, Tappan Z after his father, who they did renamed fucking the Tappan Z nothing. Bridge? Yes, they did. Really? You know what they called it? The Mario Cuomo Bridge. Jeez. As they named if it after anyone Mario? calls it that. As if anyone calls it that. Man. I remember when we were driving to visit relatives in in Jersey, we'd always be like, we're going over the Tappan Zee Bridge. Yeah. It was always like a big deal. Like, oh, we're going over the, like, like the event no, of yeah. going over the bridge was like, I was like, here's the Tappan yeah. Zee. And I'm like, yep, am I supposed the, to? There, oh, look, there's the Governor Mario Cuomo Bridge, everybody. As if. As yeah, if. Yeah, the, the, uh, the, the, what is that? The. The, the GMC bridge? Terrible. What is this, Terrible. a car bridge? What is this? A, what are we getting? What are we getting? Fucking supplements? Really, bad. Really, really bad. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, Jeez. Oh, oh, I will oh. say, it's a little bit... Oh, you're out? All gone. Oh, we got to wrap this up then. <laughs> I, uh, I think it's a little ridiculous when you see, like... 
I don't know if it's like, sometimes it's like People Magazine, like at least when I was growing up, they always talk about like someone who's like fucking 90 and it's like a celebrity or something and they're like, they're, they're looking good or whatever. And they're like, what's your secret? And it's like a glass of wine a day and I eat only chicken pesto. And it's like, no, <laughs> that's not like, it, it's just yeah. like a totally just like circumstantial thing that they did over their life. And it's like, yeah. you just, you just happened to, to not die like you just got luck that survival was bias. going against you you know yeah you know taylor swift how'd you do it i just followed my dreams yeah i just played i just yeah. played country music for like most of my life it's like it's like no it's crazy how how big fucking taylor swift has gotten like it kind of came out yes. of nowhere and i, mean, I, I love, guess that and i love love her fan base oh yeah yeah no they're good we're big fans we're big fans of all the albums they're the almost Christmas as bad as the barbs especially. now not that the barbs uh, are bad. Bad? What are you talking about? Bad? bad is a relative term. Bad in terms of intensity is what I'm talking as about. Like, as like badass, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, like like bad and like sick. Like the barbs are like super fucking cool. And like they should yeah. definitely not comment on this episode. It would boost engagement if they did, though. They're never going to find it either. We're at the end of the episode. They're not going to know. It's the end. We're in the deep end. <sighs> We're in the deep end right now. Yeah, Fine, let's wrap this shit up. Yeah, we probably should. I mean, we've got a we. For those of you listening, we got a good year ahead. We got a good, we got a good year ahead for Chuckle, and we've got many plans, deep, conspicuous plans too. Um, but if you are a chuckler, and maybe you've got some cool hip ideas of stuff you want us to do maybe new things any suggestions that you have for us are welcome most of the time your guys suggestions are shit i will mention yes. that and yes. they are us they usually go unnoticed um so i really want you to think about it when you send it in because you guys you know i've said this before and you, you guys seem to miss out when i say this but a joke response is not helpful and we and and we hate you for that yeah we do we do. We do. Well, Chucklers, we're excited to keep you here for 2024. We're coming on three years of Chuckle oh, Sandwich. It's a long time. Long time. So, I don't know. Thanks for thanks for listening. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember, man remember. in the arena. Man you in are the arena. in the arena. Mm. And you know what? All those cold, timid souls judging you. Ooh. The fuck, who the fuck? Who the fuck do they think they are? Who do they I think they are? Wasted. The Sphinx used to be a dog, and I'm going to keep researching <laughs> that. And every episode, I'll have another update. The Sphinx was a, um, the Sphinx was a dog, Sphinx, and, and Buzz it Aldrin's, used to be a dog. It did. Okay. And Buzz Aldrin's punching people on the sound stage, and, and the little, little green men helped him do both, it. Both no, dude. The Sphinx totally makes sense that 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 you that they found that. And they carved its head into to being a pharaoh because that does not make any sense why the head would be that much smaller Are you to sure a society who was thing? so into numbers. Mm. So into numbers. Mm. They do like numbers. Were they into numbers that much? Yes. The Egyptians? I thought that was yes. I thought that was in How the fuck do you build those things? I thought it was in Saudi Arabia that they invented. You love numbers if you're building that shit. You love them. That feels You're a little not going to make an anatomically inaccurate man dog beast. No, it was a dog. Is this this is just surprising coming as someone as a cat guy? Like we knew that the Egyptians liked the cats, though. I know, we knew they liked cats, but it wasn't. It's not a cat. It's obviously not a cat. You think that was like it's a, a big statue of Anubis? You think it's Anubis? Yes. It could, I don't, I don't, I, listen, all I'm saying is that doesn't add up to me. Fine, but I'm pissed. And, uh, and I'm going to do more research on it. In every episode, I'm requesting we have a segment called The Sphinx. <laughs> the Sphinx? And I'll, Schlatt's, What's the <laughs> Schlatt's Weekly Sphinx Update. Okay. And you know what? That, then I'll dish some more knowledge. Can we also maybe bring in different topics than just the Sphinx? Or like how much well, is no, there to well, unveil I'm, hey, about hey, the Sphinx? I'm asking just for a small weekly segment. Okay. Towards the back end of the show. It can even be towards the back end of the show. I'll give you a okay. Schlatt's how about this? weekly <laughs> Sphinx update. Okay. I'll give you a deal here. How about we, how about we, we can, we'll try it out. We'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll do a pilot episode of the Sphinx section of the episode. Next okay. episode. Okay. We're going to see how it works out. Okay. And then we'll see what the reception is to the Sphinx 
section of the podcast. Good. Dude, people are going to love this. Okay. People I'm excited. I hope they do. I really hope they do. It's not going to be all those bullshit conspiracy theories. It's going to be it's hard, gonna be hard data, facts. Hard facts. Hard cock. You're going to come with sources? I'm going to come. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.